Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm filming this entrepreneurial tip in the car for a reason today. The car is a place where you can either be educated or entertained, depending on what you do with your time. And I love music, all for it. Uh, you know, listen to my beats all the time when I'm driving. But more often than not lately, I spend more of my time while I'm driving listening to podcasts because I can turn my drive into an education. And I want to go over the podcast that I spend the most time listening to, uh, just to shed some light on where I get most of my uh, inspiration from. I use a app called Podkicker, and what I'll do is I'll take a screen capture of, of this and I'll share it at the end of the uh, video so you can see what I listen to. But uh, I'll go top to bottom. First one is the I Love Marketing podcast with Joe Polish and Dean Jackson. Uh, great resource for marketing, uh, especially for copywriting and uh, direct um, marketing, direct mailers and things like that. I found a lot of the guests they have on are very useful and um, really on top of their game. Next one I have on here is called the Startup Podcast, um, which is kind of a storytelling uh, podcast about a guy that's started up a online business, basically a podcast, and how he raised money from angel investors and selected names and hired people and basically is very transparent about everything that he goes through. So um, if you're not an entrepreneur right now and you want to know what it's like to start a business, check out the start the Startup Podcast. Next one I have on here is The Art of Charm. Very cool podcast. Um, I was, you know, I had a stammer when I was a kid. I had a stutter. Um, I'll talk more about my childhood experience and why I had some difficulty, I guess, communicating in social circles. But lots of good information there. Great guests. Um, if you're looking to up your social game and social skills. The next one I have on here is The Art of Paid Traffic. Uh, I think it's Rick Mulready that does it. Very, very short podcasts are 15 minutes each. They usually give you a good glimpse into um, a marketing channel, uh, whether it's YouTube, uh, Facebook, or pay-per-click, whatever it may be. When I, after that, I have on my list is The James Altucher Show, which I think is brilliant. Uh, James is a great author, a uh, brilliant writer. He's also very good at interviewing because the guy is so good at exposing his own weaknesses uh, and shedding light on embarrassments in his life. He likes to push into his guests and try to um, really get deep in their head beyond what other uh, podcast interviewers will do to really expose um, the uh, layer below, you know, the surface layer. Next one I have is the Mastermind Talks podcast with my buddy J uh, Jason Gaynard. And... Uh, his are just great because he has a really phenomenal network and he brings in some great people. Uh, after that, I've got the Peter Schiff Show, which um, isn't a entrepreneurial podcast. But the cool thing about the Peter Schiff Show is if you've got some money that you want to invest and you have and you want to have an idea what the market's doing and where it's going, um, it's it's really good information. Um, I don't I don't subscribe to every piece of advice that he gives, but I love that he. Uh, dives deep into the markets and where they're going and what the Fed does with rates and things like that. Next one I have is a Smart Passive Income podcast, which is by far my favorite. If I would recommend just one and listen to one podcast only, it'd probably be that one. There's a ton of episodes in there. And the thing I like about Pat Flynn's podcast is he brings guests on that have real world experience uh, growing their business. And it's not just necessarily passive income sources, it's any number of income sources, but I just love that the guests have actually gone from you know, zero to one, sometimes it's zero to five, sometimes it's zero to 10. Uh, but they chronicle their story on how they started their business and what tools and resources they use. The show notes are fantastic as well on the website. And the last podcast I have on my list is the Tim Ferriss Show. Uh, if you don't know who Tim Ferriss is, Google his name. But uh, he brings in these really, really good guests that you would not uh, expect. You just don't know who they are most of the time. They're usually no-name people that fly in under the radar and he pulls them into the show, spends an hour and a half, sometimes two hours talking to them, uh, really going deep into their lives and deconstructing what made, what made them successful. So that's my list of podcasts. Again, I'll share the list with a screen cap at the end of the video. I encourage you and challenge you to start listening uh, to podcasts as you're driving. There's really no excuse. I mean, most cars nowadays have Bluetooth connectivity. I'm sitting in my uh, Ford Edge Sport right now, and it's a great Microsoft uh, sync system. Great to, you know, wirelessly transmit my audio signal to speakers, uh, use headphones, whatever. 
um, you know, I'm on the road 30, you know, 20 to 30 minutes each way to my destination most days. So it's a great use of time. Um, and there you have it. I want to know um, if you listen to podcasts, what you listen to and which ones you've got the most value from. So in the comments of this um, video, do me a favor. If there's a podcast that I haven't mentioned or talked about that you've gotten a ton of value from, I'd love to know what it is. Just chuck it in the notes below and let me know what that is. So thanks very much for checking this one out today. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.